So this room is um, a large room. This is where we do a lot of the work. And so what you, what you see here is uh, just a large room and we have on the wall here um, a large bulk autoclave. And so any material that needs to enter in this facility has to be autoclaved in. So an autoclave is like a massive pressure cooker. And all of the material gets put into sealed drums and then put into this autoclave. That's entered on the other side, which is the dirty side. And then when it's done, this door opens and then you can bring all of your sterile material in here to the clean side. Now there are some materials you can't autoclave in um, because you would destroy it, large equipment with electronics. And so for that reason, we have over here an air shower. So this air shower is just a, like a large hallway, but you see all of the jets on the wall. These are blowing air, pressurized air, that's also HEPA filtered. So that anything that would get put in here, the doors are sealed on both sides, gets blasted with filtered air. So any particulate matter or any spores or bacteria that could be sitting on the outside of this uh, piece of equipment gets blown off. So now that you've come in here, you, uh, we have a fume hood because in order to sterilize everything once we're in the facility, so we have to sterilize isolators and connecting sleeves, um, we use parasitic acid. So we um, basically spray parasitic acid under compressed air so you get a gas and so parasitic acid needs to be prepared in, in the fume hood. So that is sitting here for that. So this room uh, that we're in right now is at positive pressure, it's at 50 pascals. Now this is our first room, this is called the exenic breeding room. Exenic is just another word for germ-free. And this room is our highest pressure, this is our cleanest area, it's our germ-free area, and it's at plus 75 pascals. And this room will hold the isolators that will hold the germ-free animals. So this room is at positive pressure, 75 pascals, so it's getting filtered air, so it's already a very clean room. But we enter this as people, and although we've showered in, we're never germ-free. We're always going to have microbes in and on us. So inside the room, we have another barrier, and that's our isolators. So each of these isolators, it's called a flexible film isolator, and it also gets provided with air that is HEPA filtered going in, and then it's also HEPA filtered coming out. And each of these uh, isolators is essentially a, a bag, a bubble. They're also kept at positive pressure. And then anything that enters into these isolators needs to be coming in through these quadrilock ports. So you see that every one of these isolators has an outer door and an inner door, and there's a space in between. So we can connect the drums that we use to autoclave all the food, the bedding, the water. Um, we put it in a drum, we seal it. Then we can remove this outer door, keeping the inner door closed. We can connect a long plastic connecting tube to this and to our drum. And then we can spray parasitic acid into that connecting tube, basically to sterilize the space between this isolator and that drum containing the sterile equipment. And then once we leave that for an hour, that space is now sterile. And then we can open the drum and open the inner door and move everything through a sterile space into the sterile isolator. So for the people who work here, it's quite a bit of work to maintain and, and keep it germ-free.